we're back. We got the 462 valve free engine. You can see I got the intake manifold off. I got the valve covers back off. Getting ready to getting ready to pop these heads off. I got a puller I found in the bottom of my toolbox. I need to go to the hardware store and grab some bolts for the puller. And then we can get this harmonic balancer out of here, which will require the hoist. Once we get the front cover off, then we can yank the heads. Piece of cake. Let's get this thing out of here. Before we go to the hardware store, let me get you in close and you can see what we're looking at. This is that sludge I was talking about. Clark, what are you doing? Look at this. I'm gonna get some bolts in here and... Oh, check this out. I don't know if you can see inside there, but... Look how much oil is in the bottom of the plenum. I think there's a little bit of blow-by in this thing. I don't think this guy changed the oil. Regular service intervals. Once we get the oil pan off, we'll be able to see that. Of course we will. I'm gonna look up what size bolts those are on the balancer, and then we'll head to the hardware store. I wonder why they got rid of wind wings. Let's get out of here. All right, we're at the store. Let's hit the hardware aisle. Got the bolts. They're trying to charge six bucks for two bolts. So that means I gotta buy four. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, we're back from the hardware store and I got some bolts. Let's see if we can get this balancer off of here. There's a lot of rust in these holes. I'm gonna chase them down with this tap and clean them up. That was in those threads. Oh yeah. Okay, crank bolt is out. I got a ratchet strap around this rotten piece of wood to keep the balancer from rotating. It actually works really well. We got some RTV in here. Looks kind of suspect, honestly. Why would that be there? I don't think that's factory. I think it's coming. Oh yeah, we're dialed. Now that we got that out of the way, we gotta get these front oil pan bolts out. But to do that, I need to hoist the engine up. Well, I got the hoist. Well, I got the hoist rigged up. I don't know, this is all kind of sketchy. It seems like it's working pretty good though. 13 millimeters. There we go. Cracking these loose. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ho. Can you see that? This thing is filthy. That's absolutely horrific. Holy cow. What? This is loose. I don't know if that's supposed to be loose. Um, this looks pretty bad. Look at how absolutely filthy that is. Like, look at that. What is that? Look at this chain tensioner. It is worn through the plastic, which is broken off. and it's been wearing through this thing. Oh. That's kind of a nice stain color right there. I'm just gonna try to wipe off some of this sludge. It just, it, it's so dirty. Have I, have I said that it's dirty? I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. Here's the timing chain tensioner. The plastic is completely worn through and it wore a hole through this and then it was starting to starting to wear down on the tensioner itself which is just plugged full of more sludge and smells like straight up gasoline for some reason. I don't 
that's I don't think that's good. I think this is bad. Gotta give a shit. I got a mess going. That's garbage. Why do I feel like this is gonna crush my toe? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get my thumb in there. There's a cylinder head. Hmm. This looks sketchy right there. Hmm. Hold on. Well, here are the combustion chambers. <laughs> Look at this crud in there. I don't know if that's a different spark plug or what, but this one's way in there. Yeah, these are out. That one's way in there. Doesn't look good. Does not look good at all. Wow. Well, we got the cylinder heads off the four point sludge. It is dirty. I don't know what was going on with this motor. The cylinder walls in the block actually look pretty decent. Not gonna lie. This thing is filthy, okay? Stay tuned for more four-point sludge disassembly.